Yeah, college is a scam. Let's talk about it. Hope you're having a great day. It's Chase. All right, all right. Before you start roasting me in the comments, all of you college graduates, I am going to talk about some of the benefits that college provides, but I just think college has become too overemphasized, over advertised in today's society. Also, please like the video for the YouTube algorithm and help get this information out to more people. And subscribe to the channel if you want content similar to this. But back to the video. Right off the bat, let's identify something that we can all agree upon, and that's that colleges nowadays offer many, many degrees that offer no functional value or meet no demand in the market. Therefore, the college degree is virtually worthless. And so things like this would include general studies, like general science degrees, general biology degrees, and I'm sure you can infer many other degrees that might fall into this category. For example, I knew a guy that majored in biology, and he actually took out around $60,000 in student loan debt. He looked for months and months and months to try and find a job for his general biology degree, and he literally could not find any. Now, because his student loans were due and he needed to start making payments, he ended up having to take a job at just a random manufacturing facility for like $12 an hour to try and pay back those student loans. Now, this isn't an isolated case. This is literally happening throughout the nation for my generation where you see people building up tons of student loan debt, but they can't find a job to be able to pay off that debt. There's been this massive misconception that has developed over the last several decades that college is a necessity for any type of success, and that's just complete nonsense. So if you follow the channel, you would know that I actually do hold a college degree in engineering. Now, I think this actually gives me a unique perspective because I'm able to identify in my life the areas in which the college degree actually benefited me and many of my other successes in life where the college degree had no influence over. From what I've found in my personal life, is that college is a double-edged sword. So assuming you're getting some useful degree that has a high demand in the market, like engineering or in the medical field or law, so those degrees create a nice security net once you come out of college because there's a high demand and there's a lot of jobs in that market, but it also creates a ceiling for yourself. So let's talk about something specific like engineering that I'm very familiar with. All the prices I'm gonna be giving are based in Indiana because that's where I live and that's the market I'm most familiar with. But say you get out of college in Indiana with an engineering degree, you can expect a base salary usually around above $50,000 a year, which is really good for a starting salary. But now once you start to look at the upper end of the market, you don't see maybe only 1% of engineers in their entire career can break $120,000 even at the height of their profession. Once I saw this in the industry firsthand, this is when I realized that I wasn't going to reach my financial goals by sticking and solely in engineering, and that's when I started starting my own businesses. So I didn't have a business degree or finance degree, so how in the world was I successful? I'll tell you how. It's because I read a lot of books, I tried and failed many other business ideas, and eventually I compiled enough knowledge and enough experience with business that I was able to run a successful business. Now the things I learned no college could teach me and this is kind of getting to the root of the problem that I think is out there. I think high schools and parents as much as they love their kids they push them to get a degree without identifying if it's even a financial benefit to them or not. Because ultimately college is an investment in yourself and if you're not going to ever reap financial reward for that investment then it's not a good investment. All right, so now I've identified all these problems with college and all the pitfalls, and so now let's start to figure out a solution to this. So I think the first solution is you're going to have to identify what field of study or what field of work you want to get into. Now this doesn't mean to go to college to try and figure out what you want to do. You really need to identify what you want to do for a living before you make that large financial investment. There are also so many trade schools and so many great other opportunities you can do to tie you over while you're trying to figure things out. You can take welding courses, you can get into plumbing or be an electrician. All of those are very high paying contract jobs that don't require a college education. But the key is to gain experience in some sort of industry, in some sort of field. Once you start gaining experience, I guarantee you, you'll start to figure out what you like, what you don't like, and from there, you can figure out what you wanna do for the rest of your life. Also, say you want to start your own business or start investing in real estate or stocks, well, you're going to be financially crippled if you go into massive amounts of debt for a college education if you don't necessarily need one. Now, obviously, the situation is different for all of us. We are all unique people with unique skill sets, but now I want to get into my personal situation and how college did help me and how it didn't even matter. So coming out of college, I started working at an engineering firm where I had a comfortable salary. I quickly realized, however, that the salary increase at this design firm was going to cap out pretty quickly and I was never going to be able to reach my financial goals by staying there. Now this is what prompted me to start 
building my own businesses and I started building business after business until I started to achieve success through them. So yes, in one sense, I had a solid job where I had a secure salary from my college degree. But in the other sense, I had multiple successful businesses from no college degree experience and the engineering experience didn't even apply to that. So then I started to job search and I found this position that I'm currently in today and the position required marketing experience, business experience, and engineering was a benefit as well. I was uniquely qualified for this position because of the marketing experience and business experience I gained from my side businesses, but the engineering position also helped me secure this job. So has my engineering degree been beneficial to me? Absolutely. But I would say I've utilized my business experience, my marketing experience that I have gained and learned from myself a lot more in my day-to-day -day life. So for a final thought, I just wanna let you know that if you're deciding to go to college and get a degree, do the math, figure out if it's going to be a good financial investment or not. And if it is gonna be a good financial investment, go for it. But please don't feel pressured to go to college if you know it's not gonna benefit you financially. That's how so many young people in our current society are starting their life off in a huge deficit from all the debt that builds up. But that's gonna wrap up the video. I appreciate you sticking around. Leave a comment below if you agree, disagree with what I'm saying. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to start a discussion. But like and subscribe if you like my content and you wanna see similar stuff to this. Appreciate it, guys. See ya.